Soap operas are defined by their villains. Without these lawbreakers and outcasts, the shows wouldn't be half as interesting. The battle between good and evil is a recurring theme on soaps. And without evil villains destroying their lives, heroes wouldn't have anything to be praised for. While The Young and the Restless has had its share of evildoers, we can't help but root for some of these characters by the way the show has portrayed them. Today we're counting down our picks for the top 7 all-time most evil villains on The Young and the Restless. For this list, we've gathered the worst of the worst from the residents of Genoa City. So without further ado, let's get on with the video. Hey everyone, welcome to Trend Street. At number 7, we have Chloe Mitchell, who was characterized as a manipulative bad girl by Soap Opera Digest upon her arrival on the show in 2008. Under Elizabeth Hendrickson's direction, Chloe established herself as a soap opera vixen who was edgy and funny. Her wrongdoings range from breaking up Kane and Lily after announcing that she was pregnant with Kane's child to stealing Billy's sperm and blowing up Adam in revenge after he accidentally killed her daughter. Number 6. Hilary Curtis While Hilary Curtis had every Weiner fan bawling their eyes out when she died, she wasn't always a saint. Michelle Morgan joined Weiner in 2013 as a young woman with a mysterious agenda. She was out to get Neil Winters because she blamed him for her mother's death. She schemed to ruin the Winters family and caused trouble for Kane and Lily. As she worked for forgiveness, she went from schemer to one half of one of the show's most popular super couples. Number 5. Michael Baldwin You may be surprised to find Michael Baldwin on this list, but when he first arrived in GC, he was as sleazy as he was charming. He pressured Christine Blair into sleeping with him in exchange for professional favors at his law firm. When that didn't work, he attempted to sexually assault her. Thankfully, Paul Williams caught him in the act and shot him. He was sent to prison where he spent four years. The cocky and very successful lawyer was a constant thorn in Christine's side even after his return to Genoa City. Number 4. Phyllis Summers Fans have a love-hate relationship with Phyllis Summers. She has walked the fine line between good and evil over the years and is notorious for scheming to get what she wants. Recent fans may not know that she was a lot worse in her younger years. When Michelle Stafford first played the role in 1994, Phyllis drugged Danny Romalodi and conned him into believing that she was pregnant with his child. Her list of crimes include bribery, blackmailing, breaking and entering, a few attempted murders and hacking. While Phyllis may have redeemed herself over the years, she still has some tricks up her sleeve. Next on the list, we have cult leader and baby stealer Ian Ward. His nefarious activities in Genoa City landed him in jail multiple times. Kidnapping, arson, extortion and sexual abuse are just some of the bad things Ian has done over the years. After stealing Mariah at birth, he raised her in his cult and manipulated her into forging a relationship with Sharon. Then he kidnapped and drugged her and tried to marry her. He was arrested after he set fire to the Newman Enterprises Tower, but he escaped and held Nikki and Phyllis hostage at the Abbott cabin. Thankfully, Paul came to the rescue and he was imprisoned again. We wonder when the writers will let him out again to terrorize the residents of Genoa City. The next Warner character is the most respectable villain in the history of The Young and the Restless, if not daytime television. We're of course talking about the Newman family patriarch, Victor Newman. He's done some pretty terrible things over the years, but fans have always forgiven him because he's always done it for his family. Introduced in 1980 as a despicable, contemptible, unfaithful wife abuser, Victor Newman is arguably the most popular soap opera character in daytime history. He is ruthless, conniving, and ultimately a loving father and husband. And lastly, at number 1, we have the evil mastermind Sheila Carter who has tortured people in both Genoa City and Los Angeles over the years. From kidnapping to blackmailing and murder, her impressive criminal past couldn't be contained to just one show. The master manipulator seems to have a penchant for holding people at gunpoint. During her time on The Young and the Wrestler, Sheila was particularly obsessed with making Lauren Fenmore's life a living hell. Not only did she steal Lauren's baby, but she has tried to kill her on multiple occasions. 
Let's not forget the time she killed a man by releasing a jar of bees into his apartment. Did your favorite Warner villain make the list? Let us know in the comments what you thought of our picks. Thank you for checking this video out. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for new videos every day. Turn that bell notification on if you want to hear from us and comment down below if you've subscribed and we'll make sure to reply and thank as many of you as we possibly can.